Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to explore data center virtualization, VMware certified professional, VCP, DCV certification concepts. So most of the time these days, I'm receiving the multiple comments and questions from our viewers and subscribers. They are asking uh, in where to start and uh, what is the sequence for the VCP, DCV when we are learning a data center virtualization concepts. So as we know, uh, VCP, DCV is a popular certification from VMware and specifically under the data center virtualization era. Okay, so in order to learn all these concepts within our channel, we have uploaded all the videos. So let me navigate to the specific sequence. So if you want to find the specific path, just open the Google and switch with our channel name, Gnant Cloud Garage. When you search with, you will find your first link with the Gnant Cloud Garage channel YouTube link. So just click on the YouTube channel link. And within our channel, go to the playlist tab so under playlist, you can find VMware vSphere data center virtualization, VCP DCV. I would recommend to go through these videos first. And if I click on this one, there is a direct channel. If you click here, you will find the, let me mute the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you see here, we can see the, the sequence of videos starting from first video to until we have a 42 videos. So this first 42 videos will cover all the VCP DCV concepts and the remaining videos are, it includes the advanced concepts, new features, and also some scenario based based content but i would recommend if you are a beginner or if you are trying to refresh or brush up your skills uh, i would recommend to start with this playlist uh, within this playlist uh, vspr data center virtualization uh, in brackets vcp hyphen dcv playlist you should start from your sequence from 1 to until the 42 so these videos are already in a sequence it will cover all these concepts these concepts are how, uh, what is the key concepts is covered is uh, let me explain you from this slide so normally when we are planning to learn vmware vspr platform in other words data center virtualization the certification name is vcp dcv First, we have to know how we can install the ESX server. In order to install the ESX server, we need a server. This server can be a rack mount server, tower server, or blade server. Let's say I'm taking the example of rack mount server. This is one of the HP DL380 Gen 10 Plus server. So within the DL380 Gen 10 Plus server, we can install a ESX operating system. So this ESX operating system, currently we have latest version 8.0 and N minus version is seven series. Still some organizations, they are using seven series. Some organizations, they are already upgraded to eight series. But the concept wise, the we have to learn what is our server hardware and how we can install the ESX server on a bare metal. But in your home lab, if you want to practice, we know if you do not have a server, no need to worry. We can install within our laptop. We can install VMware workstation and within a workstation, create one VM and install ESX. That is for only testing and learning purposes. But for production environment, we should have an idea how to install ESX on bare metal, the same procedure we are doing on a home lab using VMware workstation as well. So for our technical perspective, we have to learn ESX installation. That is a key concept. Once we learn the ESX, we have to know how we can create a virtual machine within a ESX server. And when we create a virtual machine, we should know within our virtual machine how to install the guest operating system. And on top of that, we can install the applications. So it's not only limited to four VMs, we can create a number of virtual machine within our ESX host until resources are available. This is the single ESXi scenario. And even we should know how we can manage ESXi host using vSphere host client, graphical user interface. And we should also aware how we can connect the ESXi host using command line method using SSH session via PuTTY. That is for a single ESXi host install 
configure and management but customer scenarios when we have a organization infrastructure size are like tiny medium large extra large when organization when we are keep on increasing our ESX host count let's say for example here I am showing ESX 2 3 4 and so on not only limited to 4 ESX even the concepts are same if you have ESX more than 400 ESX also when you have a multiple ESX host we need a additional tool to manage multiple ESX host so in order to manage multiple ESX host VMware given another tool that is called vCenter server or in other words we also call it as vCenter server appliance in short form we can also call it as vCenter same like ESX vCenter also we should know about how to install a vCenter server and how to configure vCenter server how we can manage multiple ESX hosts and virtual machine that is the key concepts in vCenter and along with the, uh, we, this install configure and manage within a vCenter we have around 30 plus key features all these 30 plus key features once we are familiar with ESX installation configure and manage and similarly vCenter install configure manage and also the vCenter features that that means we are already perfect in our data center virtualization core core skills that is what I explained in our channel. We already uploaded the sequence of videos. Even if you back to the website within YouTube, you can see the initial I started with the basics and I also explained step by step ESX host setup and ESX host configuration and also networking concepts within a ESX host. And once ESX networking is familiar, I started with vCenter server. Even vCenter server also explained the architecture, install, configure, management. And once we have a vCenter server ready, we should know about the vCenter features, all the features one by one and also the storage is one of the key concept i covered all the storage concepts as well so once we are familiar with the storage i covered for your vcenter feature as i mentioned we have 30 plus key features within vcenter server so all the features like snapshot clone template ha drs and also how we can migrate the physical server to virtual virtual to virtual and also some of the advanced features like fault tolerance storage drs and also the these all features i covered until 42 the most of the vmware certified professional concepts are covered until 42 and the remaining videos what it include once you cover from 1 to 42 you will be familiar for data center virtualization and vcp dcv certification concepts and the further videos why we give an additional video sir it includes the latest vspr 8 and also some advanced concept some scenario based questions and what is the regular known issues and troubleshooting and all i explained in the following videos okay and same way, let's back to the uh, same playlist again. <clears throat> Once I again back to the playlist tab. So within the playlist tab, we can we can we can see the other videos like we have vSphere and suppose if you're looking for only the interview based scenarios and interview questions and all there is separate playlist for interview preparation and you can go through this playlist and if you are if you feel the videos content is more than one hour if you are looking for only the lab with the short videos you, there is another playlist for vSphere 7.x home lag quick bytes you can refer this and if you are looking for only vSphere 8 advanced features you can look for your vSphere 8 playlist, okay? But if you are starting from beginning beginning of core basics to until the advanced concepts, you can go through this playlist, okay? So let's back to the slide. The same thing I highlighted in this slide. So for the zero to hero, you can refer to this slide for VCP DCV concepts, VMware vSphere playlist name is data center virtualization. That is the first one. And the second one for the short videos. And third one is for a yeah, vSphere 8 advanced concepts. If you are looking for only interview based scenarios and questions, you can refer this playlist. Okay. So that's it. Hope I answered whatever we are getting the keep common question, how we can follow the sequence and all I addressed in this video. Okay. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.